This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Just wait. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter, ready to talk professional wrestling, episode 620 episodes that we've been celebrating professional wrestling here uh, from the Sorgatron Media Studio in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And uh, we're back. We were off a week. Sorry about that. But we are back. So I'm going to give you two works, two weeks worth of energy and mispronunciations to make up for it with us on the couch because he just encountered a prostitute outside. He's a seeking shelter here in the studio. It's Mutilator Larry. I, I locked the door on my way in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Don't you, you leave our taco men alone out there. This place is not safe. No, no. This is a refuge. This is a refuge uh, uh, here. <laughs> In our neighborhood. Also, also refuging in Poughkeepsie, New York. He's the only mayhemer on the show with a future endeavor letter from the WWE. Fact is mad, Mike. Oh, Sorg. I, there's a lot of steam to blow off. And I'm wearing my brand new Macho Man shirt. That is a that sweet got, Macho shirt. That I got for a dollar. Whoa. From WWE.com because they had their buy one, get one a dollar shirt. Nice. Wait, which one my, did you pay full price for? The Iconics, of course. Oh, yes. Nice. Hashtag Peyton and Billy. Hashtag mm-hmm. why the fuck aren't they in Money in the Bank? I was watching last week's SmackDown, and and they come out, and they're 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 kind of promo on, oh, who are they taking on? I can't remember, like Naomi or something. Um, and somebody just yells, I don't understand a word you're saying. It was hilarious. Uh, but anyways, uh, so this is your Wrestling Mayhem Show, where we talk wrestling and stuff. People are joining us here on the live stream on Facebook Live at the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook page. Uh, thank you so much, everybody, for joining, uh, joining us there. You can check out everything at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Hit us at that email address. Good times. At WrestlingMayhemShow.com. It works. It fixed. We fixed it. Thank you. Go, Daddy. I don't. I feel bad saying that. Thank you, Candice Michelle. Yes. But... Thank you, Candice Michelle. <laughs> Thank you, Danica Patrick. Uh, also, you can drop <laughs> us a line at four one two two zero six WMS zero at Mayhem Show on the Twitter and of course that Facebook page aforementioned. And please check out the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Whoa! Check out the Wrestling Mayhem <laughs> Show group <laughs> on Facebook. Sweet, sword. <laughs> we we do need to blow off some steam. We both hit. We both hit our teapot level. Both hit puberty. <laughs> We have, hey, hey, we're hitting into our 13th year. We're hitting podcast puberty, so that's when everything gets squeaky on the show. Uh, but anyways... Uh, <laughs> no. Oh, Justin, no. that's, a low, that's a low blow. Oh, no, we're not going that's there. That's a low blow. But anyways, uh, please check us out. Uh, subscribe to us on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, uh, Google Play Podcasts, and video versions on the Wrestling Man Show Facebook page and YouTube. And thank you so much to our Patreon supporters. Hey, by the way, if you, we only got a couple days left. If you subscribe as little as a dollar, your name will go in a hat for this. It's slightly, down. It's a, down. it doesn't matter. Physics don't make sense. You can just t- <laughs> turn this video upside down no, if no. you're there. <laughs> He's never going to reach the window now. Skyscraper Dwayne Johnson movie poster. You can put it upside down or right ways up. And actually, there's a backwards on the back. Look at that. Look and at you that. know what? You can hold that poster between you and the wall of your bedroom and you will be caught between a rock and a hard place that's good that's good and look it'll protect you from the rain uh you can receive that uh throw those names in a hat uh if you uh donate at least a dollar before the end of may if you pledge to the mayhem show with all your cell all your heart but most importantly your wallet or at least your PayPal account at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Thank you so much to our Patreon supporters that have already gotten their hats thrown in. And now we just have a cauldron of hats. Bo diggity. 
Woo! Ed Burke, Bobby F. J. Town, Tina Keys, and the Matthew and Jennifer Carlin's Foundation for Podcast Betterment at the Pocky Club five dollar level, where they're going to find out how dangerous my neighborhood is. Occupy Pro Wrestling, uh, Christopher Bishop, and Heel Bradley Brothers, and Doc Remedy, and at the Pizza Club ten dollar level, our good friends Billy Johnson. Go check out Black Diamond Wrestling this weekend, fifteenth anniversary show featuring DJ Z, uh, Shane Douglas, and Colin Delaney in West. Virginia, Benwood, West Virginia, Sunday. Uh, go look up Black Diamond Universe on Facebook. He got an extra plug because he gets a $10 level on Patreon and also at that $10 level, JD Jones. Thank you so much, you guys, for supporting the show. You can support the show too at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. And there will be plenty more fabulous prizes coming up soon. You've seen them, Larry. <laughs> You've seen the secret stash over there. All right, guys. I have. Do you want Do you want the good news or the ugly news? Ooh, I always go ugly first. You're going, you know, okay, let's get it off out of our way. We were talking about this a little bit in advance, but uh, somebody who we used to have fun wearing his hair has resurfaced. Oh. No, oh, don't God. don't don't promote this bastard. Uh, yeah, gonna, actually, no, no, yeah. we're not no. going to do this. I don't, I, I don't want to give him the. No, we're not doing that. No, he Man. doesn't. He doesn't deserve it, the views. You just killed like fifteen minutes of my show plan. Well, we'll sword, replace it sword. with you talking about TNA. <coughs> okay, maybe not, uh -oh. but still, we lost Mike. D did he leave? Uh oh, we lost him. Nope. Oh, oh he's, he's still there. there. I there was that angry because <laughs> I watched it. That is four minutes of my life. I'm never gonna get See? back. So See, so it's not. It's not even. It's not good. No, it isn't. And it's not bad enough to be funny. <laughs> <laughs> that, that seems about right. That, so that is. That's basically impact. Enzo. Enzo. Like, like Enzo Amore released a music video on World Star <laughs> Hip Hop. Um, apparently, this is what he thinks that all of us wrestling fans look like. Um, uh, a rather overweight fellow that have a. Oh, by the way, the guy is still cool because he's got a Bondi blue um, iMac. So I want to point that out. So he's completely uh, he's welcome to this show anytime. Yeah, he, he's also really grateful to guys who you know made him really popular. Yeah, exactly. He, guys, he's really grateful for that. You know, guys like us, like myself, who owns a Bondi blue iMac. You asshole. Uh, That's but, all right. He'll be broke soon and unemployed. Yeah. No, so. no, Larry, Larry. Yeah. Guarantee. Get, this is a Mad Mike guarantee. Oh, dear. Before the end of 2018, he'll be Impact World Champion. <laughs> that's a, that's a yeah. guarantee. Oh, yeah. That's a yeah. guarantee. Yeah. Either way, he's I'm angry. Not, I'm not, he might be tag team champions with Rich Swan. They can call <laughs> themselves the Untouchables. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, they, they can't hear you. you no. Miss, <laughs> <laughs> they, they'll call themselves hashtag me too. Oh, oh no. Yeah, oh, oh. Uh, but anyway, they just crossed worse lines before. That's all. That I'm is saying. true. They, they're, they're, their line used to be cross the line. So, um, <laughs> yeah. God damn it. You're right. Um, so it's a lot of metaphors and a lot of angry and a lot of middle fingers in this music video. Uh, and, and maybe it, yeah, that's where the rest of his money went after the lawyer fees. Uh, but uh, yeah, Enzo's out there. Um, he's labeling himself the hottest free agent. But oh man, he's not even the hottest free agent in that video. <laughs> <laughs> who, who is the fat guy from the beginning? I think so. The producer. Who's the producer? It's very, it's very well produced. It is actually. It's a pretty know, impressive it's, looking it's video. It's very well produced. I know Enzo didn't do that shit. It's an it's impressive. Well it's an impressive looking video. It's not an impressive sounding video, which is sad because it's a music video. Um, yeah, the Macho Man is not impressed. The Macho Man, no, no. It's, it's, it's. If you look at Mike's shirt, he's giving it two thumbs down. That's right. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is true. Look at yeah. that. Oh, um, all right. So we need to talk about speaking of music videos. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I want to see oh, where this goes. I need, go, I need to go grab something for a second. I'll be right back. 
I found the greatest thing in my life yesterday, and I need to share it with all of can, you. Can I go to a different story while we're waiting for you to yes. set up? Okay. Yes. Uh, and I, I do want you to weigh in when you go back. But now, uh, now we should talk about Impact. I am now. Okay, so so I started watching Impact Wrestling. I've watched <laughs> like two weeks of it, and it's not that bad, man. Ooh. I mean, it's is no, it no, better no, than no. Raw? It's it's oh, well, it can be. It can be if it's the kind of thing that you go for. If you swing that way in professional wrestling. On a scale of Raw to New Japan, how bad is it? Uh, uh, raw to New Japan? Where Wait, New Japan is really good and really Raw's good, on the but other low end. production versus. I mean, it's kind of a. I, I mean, it's, it's just a blue ring of honor. <laughs> it's a what? It's a blue ring of honor. A blue ring of honor. Yes. Oh, so it's like a Toronto Maple Leaf Ring of Honor. Yes, it's it's like a Canadian Ring of Honor, really, at this point. And that's, I, okay. I am really glad for okay. DJZ. I heard he won the tag title, sir. Yes, he did. And they're they're featuring him a lot on there, and, and that's really cool. Uh, but uh, and also, I have been watching the New Japan on Anthem uh, or on a- AXS or what is it? what the hell is the channel? Access. <laughs> Access. Uh, it's it's unsettling. Um, to listen to Jim Ross sometimes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. mostly because Josh Barnett. I text this to you. Josh Barnett is not a bad announcer, but he's beside Jim Ross. Yeah, if he was, if he was an uh, like next to somebody like Josh Matthews, it wouldn't be a problem. It's like he knows he's beside Jim Ross and knows he doesn't belong beside Jim Ross. So you're saying Jim <laughs> Ross is intimidating and giving him performance anxiety? That might be. That might be. Like, um, and, and and I'm not saying he's bad. I, I he's no. fine. He's perfectly fine. There have been much worse announcers on Monday night. Okay, there are much worse announcers on Monday night. Yes, Monday night. Saxton. Like who? Huh? All right. <laughs> well, I paused no, when I heard I would, Monday night Saxton last Lord, night. Lord, I would prefer Byron Saxton going solo for the full three hours. Then listen to one more thing, Coach. Wait, do, you have, do you actually have a problem with Byron Saxton? No, I don't. He has a problem That's with Coach. Coach, I have a problem with Coach. Co- I, I agree. Coach is better coach, than Booker coach T. I, I, no, no, hey, no, no, no. what? Nope. At Booker least T, Booker T was so stupid he was funny. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay. He's, okay. He's great. Booker T was so stupid he was funny. Coach is just terrible. His his like, his word of the hour thing on Raw is it's annoying. Oh my god! I, oh um, by the way, Alex, your word of the hour is not enunciation; it's enunciation. <laughs> you have to enunciate it. <laughs> oh, Fucking capitals fans! <laughs> oh. Enjoy getting swept by a goddamn flower. Hey, hey! hey. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah! Fire it up! We are spicy this week, and it... but uh, Sorg, I. I Wait, don't bring one. hey don't bring real sports into my wrestling podcast mad mike you know better than that uh, the, 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 no fox is going to be doing that soon enough hi no! since um, we've been on wrestling became a lot more expensive <laughs> no re- wrestling found a lot more people to pay stupid amounts of money for <laughs> mediocre wrestling don't worry disney's gonna why, open on us soon fox by lucha underground it's like why couldn't we do that? It's like it's like it, they wrote the check knowing that 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 it it's going to be cashed when Disney owns it. I can't I can't no. If anyone's going to own Lucha Underground, it's going to be Nickelodeon. <laughs> what? Wait, this, it's going to be who? Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon. No, Nickelodeon needs to buy Chikara. This is true. This mm. is true. That yeah, but they a- but they had they had Legends of the Hidden Temple. Uh, yeah. Let's. I would be okay if Chikara was literally set in the Nickelodeon universe. Oh, jeez. Wait, are you talking to me like, wait. I'm talking. Doug was Mike a luchador Qua- no, once. Mike Quackenbush. Mike Quackenbush. You know who he is? He's Mikey from Nick Arcade. Boom. That just happened. Doug is a wrestler. He's Quail Man. He is Quail Man. Quail yeah. Man versus Green Ant. I'm, I, that has to happen. Mm-hmm. This is just us getting myself off uh, our chest th- this week. I, I I watched one thing of impact. T- okay. Tina Tina says uh, other Tom Phillips should replace Coach. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with that. He, I, I'd be okay with a loaf <laughs> of bread replacing Coach. Um. Okay. Let's. But but I watched the um for impact. What are they doing with Allie? I haven't seen that yet. 
Oh, I, 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 oh. I haven't seen that ever. It, it, but it the... looks like it looks like we're getting Dark Alley. Oh, oh, like like Dark Pentagon. Kinda. So Alley. Kinda, yeah. Like ah. like like the like the Black Bunny. I don't know. <laughs> huh. Um, yeah, Alley's kind of a more sweet and peppy character, and now uh, she, wait, sweet and peppy like or sweet and case? Did you say Sweden or sweet sweet and pe- sweet? Sweet. Okay. Sweet. Right. I, I think okay. you said Sweden. Sorg, Sorg, that's the best opening I'm ever going to get. Speaking of sweet, I was at a Hot Topic yesterday, okay? Mm. This Hot Topic had way more options than the Hot Topic in Poughkeepsie. Okay. I found the grayest shirt of all time, Sorg, and I had to buy it. Hold on. Wait, it, wait, wait, wait. He's hold on. drinking his hold coffee. On. All right. Yeah, I, I, don't want, I don't want to say this while he's drinking something. Oh, all right. Okay. All right, Sorg, do you have the camera on me? I do. Look. <laughs> I have a delay. What the hell is that? Hold on. Keep holding it up. Wait, I, I, can't I, see it. I'm not sure if it I can is, tell what this is. It says too sweet. It is, it it is the Bullet Club as the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. It's wow. It's the Bucks on the end. You got Cody Rhodes. You got Kenny Omega. And uh, I believe that's Marty Scroll. That's you not know, Kenny uh, Omega. That's H- Hangman Page. I, yeah, okay. Oh, is that, is that Hangman? <laughs> Yeah. I couldn't tell because he has a hat and sunglasses on, so it's very difficult yeah, to tell. Yeah, you didn't recognize him without the rope around his neck. Yeah, basically. Yeah. But, um, oh, and, and it even says uh, their album title is Sweet For You. <laughs> Roman numeral yeah. two, Roman yeah. numeral oh, yeah. four. Yeah, Roman numeral two, sweet, sweet, Roman numeral four, you. Yeah, I thought so, if I would have thought they were going to have an album title, you'd think it'd be cease and desist. Well, no, I think that was made bef- before, like the the fracture. Oh, mm. but so I saw that yesterday. I'm like, oh, this needs to be on my person at some point. <laughs> <laughs> this needs to be my person. Uh, so, so it was funny because just the show before on Awesome Cast, I was talking about how like Hot Topic is like the like good geeky stuff, but mostly the generic stuff you see everywhere. Never mind. <laughs> um, yeah, that's pretty awesome um well hey you know what else is pretty awesome before we get into because i feel like we're just gonna go at stuff here this episode uh uh, slice on broadway supporting pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza here in the pittsburgh area thank you so much to those guys up the street on broadway right up the street from us the namesake with their four locations here at pnc park uh here in beachview carnegie pa home uh on main street as well as east end uh so thank you so much to those guys um and i love when i post thank you when i post that i'm at slice on broadway enjoying a pizza with my wife on sunday uh not one of you wrestling guys said to kick the door down but our friend the the music director from the metal Edge that we play before the show said kick the door down that's hilarious right. oh, he, he still gets it wrong you kick the door in yes yes you kick we're, it in we're getting kick it over in. There was notice. Actually, we weren't we talking to one of them, and they said notice that we don't have full doors upstairs. So, because uh, they they've already been kicked, <laughs> they've already been kicked. Yes. Uh, so check them out. Thank you to our friends at Slice on Broadway. PJ, it's underscore Slice on the Twitter, uh, and whenever you're in town here, and ask if they'll mail it to you. Tina, you're no fun. Why? Why is she Tina says fun? No, she says no kicking through entrances of pizza parlors. No, no, no. The best is in in New York when they don't have doors. Their pizza yes, is door absolutely. kicking good. That's right. Uh, but anyways, uh, there. Okay, there's some good stuff happening in wrestling, guys. Just not in WWE. <laughs> well, <laughs> no. I don't know. SmackDown has been pretty good. No, has it? has been a lot of fun. Pretty good. Has it? Yep. Yep. Okay. I, I can't fuck with SmackDown. SmackDown's been pretty good. Mm-hmm. Great. It's compared to the tire fire that is Monday Night Raw. <laughs> tire but fire. SmackDown. <laughs> all right. All right. Put it this way. Monday Night Raw is the Tom Wilson of professional wrestling. I don't get, I don't get that. What's it's, that? What's that reference? It's making a lot of money. Who's Tom and Wilson? has chip and is in a championship series, but he's a Fucking garbage. Are who's, we talking who's about Tom hockey Wilson? or NBA? Yeah, hockey, hockey, oh, hockey, hockey and wrestling. Okay. I, don't okay. know, yeah. I don't know who he is. Okay, all right. Okay. Uh, just go with it. Okay, right, it's hockey. hockey, and he's yeah. making too much money. It's garbage, something, something. Yeah, yes. yeah, and he's okay. and he's a garbage person. Okay, garbage person. Okay. And Raw's been a garbage show. Okay. 
It has been. It's It's been like, why did we have all of the money in the bank qualifying matches with a month to promote the show? Because we had to split them between two different shows each week. We should still, like, why did we? Technically. Now there's going to be nothing but filler all right. until there's not even a title match to promote on Raw. I got to okay. be honest. I've either been sleeping or I've been watching New Japan during Raw, so I don't know what's going on. Uh, I don't blame I, you, Larry. Um, and I'm, I'm really concerned because I'm all caught up on New Japan at the moment. <laughs> So it's not even like I have three back Larry, episodes Larry, of New Japan do. to watch whoa, 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 during whoa, 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 the three wait, wait, hours of Raw. Larry, I, I'm a solutions-oriented guy. Okay. Do you have Netflix? I do. Oh, here we go. Lucha! <laughs> Lucha! 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 I want Lucha, to. Lucha. Here's my problem. In, here's in a, here's in my problem with that. Span, you can watch five episodes of Lucha Underground. But that doesn't make a dent in a season. It's still good. That means <laughs> you it's got a lot of time. Really I d- oh. In the build up the man. money in the bank, you could finish season one. You want you know what that Ugh. also doesn't take a dent in? Wrestle Kingdom. But Wrestle Kingdom's entertaining. Yeah, okay, okay. And I, it's late at guys, night when I would be I sleeping think it's otherwise. Your frame of mind, man, because I sat back, I'm cleaning the house, I'm taking a rest, I'm watching Raw on my phone. I, I'm having a good time watching some wrestling matches. But if you, you were watching New Japan, you'd be having a better you time. You can't hinder the gender. Oh, God. I just Sword, watched watching- all three <laughs> members of 3MB in significant roles on Monday Night Raw. And that um, was just the first three hours. Well, hold, the on, first three hold on, hold on. Three hours of Monday on. Night Raw. <laughs> I'm going to argue that Drew McIntyre is not in a significant role. I, oh, wait, because wait, hold he's on. He's teaming with Dolph Ziggler. Of the three of them, he's the one that's not in a significant role. It's I not Heath say, Slater having a barbecue with Rhino. I was just getting to Heath no, Slater. No, 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 no. Let me I have to start. I have to start with Drew. Okay. Because Drew is cosplaying that he's a significant role. But he's not. <laughs> he's really good at being a big guy. He sure. He's better than Big Cass at it. It's fake Sean and fake Diesel. Oh, like Ooh. fuck. <laughs> Ooh. Why? So it's you're saying? Wait, it's so fake so you, Sean and fake Diesel. you're telling me Dolph Ziggler is stealing yet another role from Shawn Michaels? The next thing you know, he's gonna steal his role in the fucking Marine Six. <laughs> who's gonna? What? Who's wait? wait who's, what? Shawn Michaels is in the Marine Six. Oh, who, who is the M- Marty Jannetty in this? Yes, they both are. <laughs> no, but okay. Oh, uh, Ken who, Dome. Who? who? Who's Ken, the uh, Ken? Kenny. Is he Kenny. one of the cheerleaders? Yeah, he's one of the Kenny from yeah. uh, Spirit Squad. He Shh. would be the Marty Jannetty. Okay, easily. Right. <laughs> sure. Okay. I mean, you, you you could probably pick any of the three three more of those guys. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, because I mean, Dolph was. So Dolph is the second coming of Shawn Michaels. Uh, See, that's funny because he's like a born and green. He's like a second attempt. Second. <laughs> it's like it's like no, we it's, we it's got like it we got it too right the first time. We should try and dumb this down. So, 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 <laughs> and there have oh, been. Larry, have you seen the movie Multiplicity with Michael Keaton? Nope. <laughs> Okay, this joke isn't going to fly with him. Um, All right, damn it. Well, it's it's like when you make a copy of a copy. Like, sure, you can still see some of what the original was, but it's really faded out. <laughs> yeah, that translates. Okay. That actually does translate. Does All right, right, let's bring it around. Mike, <laughs> something that's happening. While you may not like what television looks like on Monday and Tuesday nights, you uh, have Tuesday, to... Tuesday, I'm okay with Okay, 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 okay. just... I, I, go with my transition. I mean, just okay, go. Just okay. go with my transition. I'm, I'm transitioning. I'm transitioning. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, Dave Potter just said he's a bad photocopy when the paper gets jammed. Oh, a little crumpled up. Uh, but in the meantime, oh, everything you loved about the Broken Hardies is definitely happening on Instagram, Mike, including King Maxwell. Um, Wait, what? Yes, King King Maxwell Wait, is making an Instagram? appearance. What? Who's who's Instagram? Uh, this is on Rebby Sky's Instagram, actually. Oh, Ringside okay. for the revival, um, getting in the face of King Maxwell, and then uh, King Maxwell gets in the ring with okay. Bray and Matt. Uh, I'm always worried that Bray's going to eat the child. Uh, but anyways, um, also seeing Bray Wyatt with a small child smiling is like 
both unsettling and like the cutest thing you've ever seen at the same time. Uh, but uh, he's oh, wearing man. hardy pants. Oh, this is great. The it, kid's wearing hardy pants. So, so again, and, and to the point where this was brought up a lot because apparently uh, King Maxwell, which Michael Cole was getting the name wrong the entire time, has challenged Michael Cole. <laughs> to a fight, um, according to somewhere on on the uh, the internets, uh, I believe it. On top of that, if you want, follow Matt Hardy's account, there's also been a lot of pictures of uh, uh, Maxwell uh, uh, at the wrestling shows. And okay, everything like that. You want to know what'll get me to not, not delete my WWE account? What's Is a match between King Maxwell and Michael Cole? Man, you on, know what? On the network. You know what? If That's what it'll take for me to used, not delete my WWE account. I used account. to think that. No way is a small, what is he, three years no, old now? like yeah. two, two three, year old. Two. No way is a two-year-old going to have a wrestling match on WWE television or network. Then a fourth grader won the WWE Tag Team yeah, Championship Yeah, they were testing the waters, man. So it's just all about. And now he's Finn Balor. What? What? That he, you guys didn't see the time travel thing where uh, he turned into Finn Balor? No, I fell asleep through <laughs> all last week. Is that week. what happened last week? <laughs> sure. What? No. <laughs> it's a better story than oh, anything else. Oh, okay. Are you telling me that you, uh, I got, you okay. finished I'm the fourth up. grade and you become Finn Balor? I'm caught up. Don't we all? Bronze tag well, team partner in the after grade Nicholas for 10 was yards. Finn Balor. 10 yards. Oh. Sorry. Okay. All know. right. All right. I, no, Matt just joined the chat room. I had to throw it in. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, and beyond that, from the creators of Brojack's Horseman, John Cena is going to be in a cartoon on YouTube. Fuck. It's called. Wait. It's, wait, it's called what? Dallas and Bo, and he plays a wait, robot. Wait. Wait. Oh, it's called. Hold on, hold on, it's called hold Dallas on. and Bo. Oh no, no, Dallas That's and Robo. Okay, Dallas and Robo. <laughs> I was gonna say let's let's back this up for a sec. Jesus. Yeah. It's uh yeah, I mean it's just something you would expect to see on Adult Swim, to be quite honest. And uh it's uh, it's it's pretty it was pretty fun in the trailer, even though they bleeded all bleeped all the good parts. Uh so I need to find a red band of this thing too. It's oh it's also it's posted on WWE's uh page uh for the for the trailer. But it's a YouTube original, so you probably have to pay for YouTube oh. Red or whatever they call it these days. Um. Oh, so but no one's going to watch it. But if you're watching Cobra Kai, make sure you sneak this in on your trial. Uh, but I thought Cobra Kai was free. Uh, no, only the first couple episodes. You have to pay for the rest of it. Oh, that's bollocks. Yeah, or get a trial. Get a trial and cram it in. Eh. Just, I'm, not that, I'm not that interested in it. <laughs> I'm sure you're creative enough to find a way to get it. But we're not, not going to talk about those creative methods on the show. So... <laughs> Um, no, it's okay. All my creativity is lost. <laughs> what? I'm kidding. That was my impression of a WWE writer. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Poor Sami Zayn. Can he just go to Impact? <laughs> He's on Impact. Wait, isn't he? wait, 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 wait. Is oh. it? Isn't he on Impact? No, no. He he's... wasn't facing Bobby Lashley. No. What? What? Oh, oh! You think like Impact? <laughs> are you thinking that Impact Wrestling is like interrupting Raw on Monday nights? Yeah, isn't it? It kind oh. of is. I think Jeff Jarrett planted a virus. <laughs> That's why he's in. He's we the need, mole. We need to purge this place. They need <laughs> to burn Stanford to the ground and start over. <laughs> Jeez! <laughs> you got it. Okay. All right. All right. Sammy's in a bad situation, guys. Let's spell it out here. He's not in a good place. No. But man, is he working hard. Yes. Um, yes. He is. Mm. He he is the most I, relevant, non-relevant person on Raw. Exactly. No, that would be Braun Strowman. I feel like... I feel okay. like Braun's not relevant right now. In, in, in my defense, I slept through two hours and 55 <laughs> minutes of... Raw yesterday. Wait, so the wait a minute. Only so five part, minutes of Raw was watchable. The, o- the only part I saw was the Sar- Sami Zayn-, Zayn segment. Oh no! And then I turned it off. That was I just leave. It was ten o'clock and I didn't care. Yeah. <laughs> wait, that math still doesn't. Oh, you don't. Oh, that's the other thing. Um, uh, I did, okay, so I didn't sleep through the whole thing, but I didn't yeah. watch two hours and fifty five minutes of it. Gotcha. I woke up at ten o'clock. I saw Sami Zayn. Watch that. I'm like, and I'm done. <laughs> Meanwhile, oh. I know I know Mike's gonna like this part. Uh, okay, back to the Instagram where the good where the good stuff in pro wrestling is happening, Mike. 
Uh huh. Okay. Uh, I, I got this. I, I posted this over on the uh, uh, Wrestling Mayhem Show group. Uh, there's a picture. Well, first there was a picture going on about um, EC3 would like to vanquish uh, John Cena. Have you seen this? I, yes. This is. I ship this. You ship this. <laughs> I ship so this. So for you guys on this video, one of my favorite things in wrestling right now. So so I want I want to pull it up for you guys a video, and, and it's literally just a picture of him of uh, EC3 posing, and he just says, "I want to vanquish John Cena at WrestleMania." <laughs> Mm-hmm. All right, so so this as this, he should. This comes as around. This comes around, and there is a. I believe this is a repost, if I'm not mistaken. But there is a picture of a fan who printed out said picture, and got a picture with John Cena, with the "I want to vanquish John Cena at WrestleMania" EC3 Instagram. Actually, it's a mm-hmm. full Instagram printout too. You can see the the okay. user on it too, right? Now, yeah. same fan. It's a picture with EC3 of the fan with the sign. What the fuck? <laughs> with these, with the. And by the way, I want to point out that John uh, wrote on the picture I E C three I E C three him, John Cena. That's funny. Oh. So oh, oh. Um, that, was, that was a bit rough. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was that was a bit rough. Yeah. Yeah, so that's my favorite Instagram feud of the week. Um, Wait, hold on. There, she's she's wearing the same shirt as in the photo. Yeah. So she ran into both of them in the same day. Um, it's a. It was, I think it was at a Comic Con. Okay. I think it was at a Con in Orlando. Okay. Yeah. Mega right. Con in Orlando says producer. I'm Missy. like, there's no way she could play that far ahead. But I mean, these are these posts Thank are you, right Tina. next to each other, um, and they're both from two and three days ago. It looks like so, uh, yeah. So that's fun. The real EC three on Instagram. If you want to follow that as it develops, that match is never going to happen. <laughs> you never know, man. No, nope, never. You never know. Maybe um, it, you know what will happen. You guys, some... you know who could come out as the third entrant in next year's Royal Rumble? The th- uh, three. Uh... I like you that. know who else could come it's out the easy is? third entrant. You know who else could come out in that entrance number? Ty Dillinger. No, no because he's, <laughs> he's yeah, but that 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 gimmick's dead. Oh, so okay. he could be anywhere. We got over the ten. I mean, he got okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Anyways, oh uh, guys, um. <laughs> Moving along. So, Sorg, what did you think of Access TV in New Japan? I like it. Didn't I just talk about that on the show? No, we talked about you that. You talked about JR. I'm talking about JR and the thing. I mean, it's it's New Japan, so it's awesome, okay. right? Uh, but and it was uh, mostly I watched the semifinals of the New Japan Cup. Yeah. Uh, that was fun. Again, Juice Robinson, amazing. Uh, I can't believe that he was ever that guy in NXT uh, <laughs> that, that had the signs about global warming. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I can't remember what his name was there because it's completely washed away. Uh, th- no, it, it's definitely recommended. It was C.J. Guys- Parker. C.J. Parker. I, you know what? When I hear C.J. Parker, Parker, I think it's the name. Baywatch. Isn't that Lana's name? <laughs> Thank you. That was the thing I was getting to. That's- and also Baywatch. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. It was just kind of. Yeah, that kind of kills his gimmick. <laughs> uh, guys, also, uh, I want to point out, first of all, wait, check. What? Oh, happy Rusev God. Day. Happy Rusev I thought, Day. I thought I missed it this week. But I realize now I need a Lana Day calendar. No. No? Well, no. No, no Lana Day is just every Tuesday and some Sundays. Oh. Oh. Like once yeah. a year. Every Tuesday and some Sundays and sometime in 2019, some Fridays. Because of leap year? <laughs> no, because of Fox. <laughs> because of Fox. <laughs> but then again, there's trap there's split ups at that point so who knows wait yeah, it may turn to Monday. is there a point like is there a point wait, why fridays uh because, because just, fox is supposedly moving smackdown to fridays because nothing gets uh, ratings on on fridays so they're gonna put smackdown there <laughs> i think i think if they did they just move just, away from fridays no they moved from no, thursdays see, here's what you do you put it on mondays <laughs> Why Fuck not? It. <laughs> Fuck it. You want competition? I'll show you competition. Vince won't like losing. 
Vince can't lose. Yes, he can. In that situation. If Raw loses, he loses. Nope. He doesn't care about SmackDown. SmackDown will win. No, he doesn't care about SmackDown. He, he's making money hand over fist. He doesn't lose in either scenario. He'd be ma- it's it's the perfect idea. The reason they're not going to do it is because they're idiots. But like, you want direct competition? That's how you do it. Two different networks: Raw versus SmackDown. Man, I, don't I, feel, of the brand. I feel like Raw, uh, SmackDown is going to be censored a lot more. Uh, <laughs> really? Being on network also, television, also, I also don't know if SmackDown is going to be live. It's not going to be live at their point on Friday because they're, think? they're yeah. not going to do a live show on Fridays. They, you sure? They no, they they never have. Well, yeah. They, so why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they keep it uh, as a live show? Look at the re- look at the travel schedule. Like, and plus, and plus, uh, attendance. We mean the travel schedule. events on Fridays. Getting attendance on Fridays is going to be tough. Um, yeah, no, it's going to be. They're definitely going to do it on Tuesdays. Mm-hmm. But uh, and now I'd be curious what that's going to do for numbers because when you're back to network and a good network, not like UPN, right? That maybe these people have. Um, so do you get less because it's on Fridays or you get more just because it's on the network? I think you'll I get mean, more just because it's on Fox. And also <laughs> Fox is really good at canceling shows that aren't doing that bad, but it costs a lot say, of money. I was going to so, say, is Fox really a good network? Yeah. So you well, ever, it's not a good, it might not be a good network, but it's a watched network. You ever seen, you ever, you ever thought SmackDown could get canceled? Because if anybody's going to, it's Fox when they don't get their billion dollars worth. Either that or Fox will just move it to Fox sports net. Oh, then we've gone full circle with Impact Wrestling. Yep. Mm. Mm. Have you ever seen somebody kill SmackDown? Yeah, it's going to be fun. Yeah, actually, Vince McMahon. Uh, he killed it with a lethal dose of poison. Actually, I think I think Rupert Murdoch sold Fox. I don't know. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking so, now. I don't know if the network is going with that. No, uh, the, the news, network isn't. The news. He's got isn't. the news still, but he, I don't think he's got like, or the sports. We we're getting yeah, away no, that's, from. Yeah, that's why they're buying up other properties because they're buying stuff they don't own so they can air it. Hi, hi. That, you're so are far you away. Me? She's doing the Sword, macarena. Are you is waving is to the, the, the macarena? What's the macarena? Hold on, let me check the, the producer mark. Missy play sheet. Oh. Hey, if you'd like to uh, look for great advertising options that won't break the bank, <laughs> advertise with us because we completely know how to podcast. Uh, for more details on our advertising plans, contact that person over there, a producer Missy at info at sorgatronmedia.com today so you know somebody responsible will take care of it. But anyways, <laughs> we'll be back after this and the big question. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. Oh, we are back. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. People are writing things in my document, and I'm watching a little cursor go blink, 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 blink. It is uh, Sorg here, Larry <laughs> on the couch, hanging Hi. out high above Girthquake Central. Wait, you have a thing to promote. You do. It's public. I do. We can talk about it. Yes. All right. That's a cliffhanger for the end of the show. Uh, hashtag also, Girthquake. Hashtag Girthquake International Enterprises and hashtag Mad Mike is Mad dot triple X. Uh, Mad Mike in Poughkeepsie, Whoa. New York. Whoa. Dot triple X. Hey, hey, the cool Jeez, guy over here hey, got a CO. Hey. So, so the cool guy over here got one of those nifty dot COs for his dot com. You got to get something, something to up him. All right, all right. Yeah, well, that's definitely hey, an upper. You do have free time, and we have to figure <laughs> out what to do with it. This is true. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, it is the big question. And Mad Mike, I think you 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 have this big question. Producer Missy uh, 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 said it, but I know you have yours lined up already. Uh, so all right. Well, yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Missy kind of kind of put forward this idea. And we, we were kind of fine tuning it. So if you were to start your own wrestling promotion, you can pick from anywhere. All contracts that currently exist are null and void. Who would your top five people be to start a new promotion? Oh, man. All right. Sorg, I have, I have five people in mind. Okay. Are they okay. all from Lucha Underground? No. 
are no, at not. least half of them from Lucha Underground? Um, maybe. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, first person I'm gonna start with is the Miz. Okay. First person I'm gonna start with is the Miz because the Miz has spit shit into Shinola and made it look great. It doesn't matter what the Miz is given. He is a perfect heel because if you're starting a promotion, you have to start with a lead heel. The Miz is perfect. He can be a shit heel. He can be anything you need him to be. And he is a social media maven. Um, the next person I'm going to pick is you need someone to counterbalance that. I'm going with Johnny Mundo. Yes. My first two people are the dirt cheap motherfuckers. Oh, that's right. Yes. I, I was really expecting him to just say all the different incarnations of Johnny. I, you know, well, uh, Johnny Mundo, say, Johnny Blackcraft, Johnny Impact, Johnny Survivor, I Johnny Nitro. Johnny, I was going to say Johnny insert promotion name here <laughs> because Here's that's Johnny. probably what he's going to call himself. Mm. But uh, yeah, John, Johnny Mundo would be my second guy because he can be an amazing face. He can be an amazing heel. It's he's got a great balance like that. Uh, the third person I'll pick is um, I will go with. Oscar. Uh, uh, wow. Oscar. Yes. I was going to keep it men to keep it clean, but OK. Oh, no. Sorg. This is 2018. That is, is the world of intergender wrestling. And plus, who the fuck says I have a women's championship? I don't. I want to see Asuka and The Miz. Like, just beat the shit out of each other. Yeah, that's going to happen. I was the guy who tried to book Asuka versus Brock Lesnar. So, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's true. That's fuck. True. No, there, there's no women's title in my promotion. I'm picking the this best is, five all around. Performers. And this is the top five and you build around them. So we're going with that idea, right? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Um, number four, I will say, whoa, I don't want to do all Lucha, uh, <laughs> but um, I'm going to do all New Japan pretty much. So it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I got like maybe two off WWE. That's and one fair. off of Lucha. Um, I got one off of Lucha. Jeez. I'm working on my list. Um, I'm going to say, I'm going to say Velveteen Dream. Oh, jeez. Bastard. Velveteen Dream. Jeez. Yeah. I was going to use that one. Uh, (laughs) I think you still use it. Yeah. uh, Velveteen Dream is amazing. Like, I've been watching the stuff he's been doing on NXT the past couple weeks. He is, he's going to be the, he's going to be the young boy. In my promotion, he's going to be the rising star because he's under twenty five. That's insane. His yeah. like his, his ceiling is ridiculous. As Jr. would say, he's got some upside on him. Yeah, seriously. And uh, let's see, number five. I want to say Taya, but I'm going to assume she's going to come whenever Johnny and her promotion name here comes. Mm. So I'm not. So I'm going to bypass Taya. And I'm going to say... Damn it, I just deleted my list by accident. <laughs> I'm going to say... Control Z, uh, Control Brian Z. Cage. Brian Cage. He's not a man. He's a goddamn machine. So, yeah. I have one NXT, two WWE, and two Lucha. That's pretty balanced to me. All right. All right. Uh, Larry, I'll let you go. I feel like I'm going to take some more of your New Japan if I go first. Oh, you can. Go ahead. All right. You got five? Uh, I think so. Or do you I, want me to go first? I, I'll go. That's fine. All right. If you're, uh, I'm going to go with Samoa Joe. Nice. Minoru Suzuki. Those are going to be my two main bad guys. He's been watching a lot of New Japan, you guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those are my two main bad guys. Um, the two crazy guy, uh, people I was going to go with was Velveteen Dream was going to be one of them. Uh, and uh, uh, Hiromu Takahashi. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and, and this is going to happen in America? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. Wow, you, you're going with New Japan's John Cena? And what? No, 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 no. Takahashi, not Tanahashi. Oh, Takahashi. Sorry, the, sorry, sorry. I misheard. The time I bomb. Okay. The oh, one with the furry okay, boots. Okay, yeah. okay. All right, my bad. 
Um, I misheard. And then uh, the fifth one was going to be Pentagon. <laughs> I, I almost said Pentagon too. I almost <laughs> fucking said Pentagon. All right, all right. If I, I had six, I'd come up with some way for Pentagon, but I didn't. So I didn't want to go too old, too grizzled for the grizzled veteran. So I'm going Daniel Bryan. Is where I'm going in your territory. I'm going to go Kenny Omega. I want to go Coney Rhodes. I want to go Charlotte for my women. Good basis, right? Okay. And uh, and also at that point you got uh, two. You're tied into two very important lineages there between Cody and Charlotte. Okay. So that okay. has a little bit of a little bit of name recognition. A little bit of flair, you would say. Mm. You're you're shame going down you. the right road, you shame, would say. Shame on you. Ugh. Shame Ugh. on you. <laughs> and finally, just a friend of the show, Johnny Gargano, because oh, that's a good wow, one. wow, that's Velveteen a good Dream one. has amazing upside. Gargano is like there, but, right? Uh, Daniel Bryan and Johnny Gargano are kind of the same in the same mold, though. In the right. same mold, in same mold, same mold, about a generation apart. Okay. Okay. Not a tag team, maybe a mentor. Maybe a mentor situation. He's not a manager anymore. Who? Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan. Bryan. Yeah, but he is and up so there. You, you are setting up Bryan and Bella versus Johnny and Canvas. <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. Also, I'm setting up any of those against uh, Cody and Brandy. Oh. Yeah, she's okay. out with That's broken true. collarbone. Well, when she gets back from the, coll- the broken collarbone, and by the way, from the footage I just saw from the uh, NWA title announcement, uh, she has the most fashionable of arm slings. It seems. <laughs> I didn't see. So, it. props to her for even blinging that up. Okay, but uh, we have from the chat room. People want to get their uh, lineups up if they were starting their top five. Justin says top five would be Ricochet, Real Osprey. Facade, who appeared on both Impact Wrestling and Real of Honor in the same week. Yeah. Uh, Jack Evans and Velveteen Dream. He's on there with you. Alex Miller says, Travis Banks. Not familiar. Anybody? Anybody? Crickets. Okay. Um, I mean, he's no, an indie guy. I mean, he has a lot of indie guys on this. Nick Gage. I've seen him. It's fucking scary. Um, Pentagon Dark. CM Punk. And Christopher Daniels. Mm. Which part? Which part? CM Punk. CM Punk. Okay, let's 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 put some presumptions aside on where CM Punk is in the wrestling world. But I'm not going to say he's a positive because he isn't in the wrestling world. Well, he's signing autographs on a thing with wrestling. And neither is Brock Lesnar, but we still use him yeah. all the time. <laughs> uh, no, no, don't get notice, him started. Notice none of us picked Brock Lesnar though. Don't get him started. Um, JD says, uh, he says, I reckon I'd take Shayna Baszler, Cody, Seth Rollins, Daniel Bryan, and Charlotte. Tina says, uh, Travis Banks is a UK, is, will be in the UK tournament. Tina. Let's scroll back. So. I actually don't see Tina's. She's, she said, uh, Pentagon, Flip Gordon, Taya. Shane Strickland and David Starr. Mm, yep. Of, yeah, that's good. Friend of the that's show, good. David Starr, who's going to be in the Super Indie Tournament here next week. So we'll be able to see him locally here in Pittsburgh. So that's cool. Uh, <laughs> what? Uh-oh. Uh, fine. I can't give CM Punk. Give me Matt Riddle. Oh, no. Oh, you, can <laughs> have CM, you can have CM Punk. You can have you can have whoever you want, Alex. You'll just be judged I just, for it. You know, I'm <laughs> voicing my misgivings about CM Punk. I'm concerned you won't have that great of a locker room. That's what I'm. I'm, I'm concerned of. <laughs> um, my locker room is gonna be awesome. I'm concerned he's gonna talk you into promoting an MMA fight. I, I'm concerned. Oh have to be- God! I should have used Bart Gun. <laughs> oh, opportunity <laughs> wasted. Oh, it is. It is. Next time. Next oh, time. gee. Speaking of opportunities, guys, you got an opportunity to help out our friends at Occupy Pro Wrestling as they are looking to give to the Asperger's and Autism Network this month. If you go to whatamaneuver.net and uh, go over the Occupy Pro Wrestling, 
section over there. They got some great stuff. Uh, of course, they are power to the Smarks is their model, and they have a lot of related merchandise. Uh, the, and very, very, uh, Matt Mike's going to love all the uh, uh, 90s uh, references, uh, especially to the Nickelodeon, uh, and especially the As Seen on Lucha Underground Legends of the Lucha Temple t-shirt that's available on there in the green in the trademark green that we saw it uh on lucha underground season three you can find uh myself and one alex cars in the in the chat room you know i i really think mad mike needs this uh wrestling explains it all t-shirt no because wrestling doesn't explain shit <laughs> <laughs> okay maybe larry gets that shirt maybe no, i'm okay I'm I'm i actually have seen the design before it's a really cool design yes it's, it's, and plus, Melissa Joan Hart is a wrestling fan. So if you ever were to see her at a Comic-Con, she would probably freak the fuck out about your shirt and then maybe slap someone with a... With a, um, with a She's not getting royalties def- off that. Defamation suit. <laughs> oh, jeez. If anything, if anything, she'd be all for that. Make her relevant again. Yeah, there you go. Um, well, hey, they're bringing back Sabrina the Teenage Witch, so... Are they? Uh, yeah. Very- yeah, I heard, she, I heard she might be one of the ants. Ooh. Ooh, that'd be cool. That's a different podcast. But no, anyways, ah. go over to wrestle what a maneuver.net uh, under the Occupy Pro Wrestling store there. Just do a search for Occupy Pro Wrestling in there and uh, pick up a shirt and help support the autism and Asperger's network on behalf of our friends at Occupy Pro Wrestling. Um okay, so uh jeez. So one thing one thing I didn't get to, I didn't mention it kind of in passing, but I didn't want to mention the uh, NWA title situation, and, and we talked about it all in a good bit, last, I guess that was two weeks ago when we were on, um, but there was an announcement. Our friend Dave Lagana made a trip over to, we was watching his Twitters as he made his trip over to the UK. Uh, so uh, Nick Aldrich um, challenged, or I guess confirmed a challenge by Cody, and I guess presuming Cody wins the Ring of Honor title, his next opportunity coming up, uh, they're going to do title versus title, Ring of Honor versus NWA. That's going to happen. <laughs> it's going to happen. Running on the wall. It's well, who's the champ now? Jay Lethal, was it? Um, uh, I don't know. No, think... isn't it Nick Aldis? No, no, no who's he's the, the Ring of Honor champ? Oh, ri- oh, Ring of Isn't it Dalton still? No, no, no he, he lost it a few months ago. Oh, okay, then I don't know. I, I have not been keeping track. With Tina, who is it? Mars, so. T- Tina, help. <laughs> Chat room, help. I haven't watched in a couple of weeks. Save us. Um, I've been watching New Japan and Impact Wrestling. I'm sorry, everybody. Um, but anyways, uh, <laughs> yeah, Alex is saying, man, he should have used Jack- Dalton. Jackson Argos. It is Dalton. It is, it is Dalton. Dalton. Dalton's champ again? I thought so. Wow. I must, have been, que- I must have been watching old episodes. <laughs> so don't question me. I knew it was still Dalton. Thank you, uh. Tina. But anyways, uh, but what ideally on the table here is title versus title at All In, NWA, and Ring of Honor. So while not being promoted by either, it's, it's kind of being promoted by Ring of Honor, yeah. aren't they? But they've always been good about like those titles kind of crossing over and things like that. I mean, hell, I was seeing it more and more these days with like random, like we got the footage back from RWA and like some uh, uh, West Virginia title was being defended, right? Uh, you know. Uh, you know, we're seeing this all over the Indies and 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 Ring of Honor. Ring, I've seen the Ring of Honor title be defended at an IWC show before, so this is nothing new. They probably just don't do it. It was defended in New Japan, actually, yeah. at Wrestle Kingdom. Zack Saber had. I've seen had a couple I've seen the belts. NWA title defended at an NEW show. Yeah, the NWA title has been around everywhere because it's kind yeah. of, it's kind of a traveling. I don't mean this in a demeaning way, but it's kind of a traveling indie title right now, right? Um, well, it it was always the traveling world title, even back when like Flair and Dusty had it. Like they would yeah. bring in the NWA champion to sell a couple shows. Like that's how it would work. Right, right. So, oh, and also Tina's let us know that uh, the inside info. Yeah, Tina, thank you, Tina, for subscribing to all the dirt sheets so we don't have to, and let us know on the so we can be an informed podcast. <laughs> so, uh, Dalton, Dalton's been nursing some injuries though, so it might happen. Um, I, yeah, I, I think it's it's pretty. Looking good for it. Maybe they throw Dalton in there too. Who knows? Um, but uh, no, it, it's pretty cool to see this growing up. And, and also, I got to listen to uh, Cody's interview with Edge and Christian. Very good it. interview. Very good interview. Gets a little bit of background about the motivations behind this, the stuff he's dealt with in promoting his first show. 
Again, this is Cody's first ever promotion of a wrestling show, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and and he's 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 held off guys like Reagan Water and Impact Wrestling from uh, assisting in promoting it. They want to do it themselves, and look what they're doing, right? Uh, so uh, also good to see friend of the show Brian uh, Brian Pillman Jr. is going to be a part of Starcade. Starcade? That's not what they call it. No, uh, Star Stardom. Uh, Star, it's no, the it's the con that they're doing. Star Star Con. It's a wrestling co- convention that's yeah, happening. Yeah, it's a, it's time. a wrestling convention that's happening in conjunction with this. So, yeah. uh, um, what's his face is putting it on. Dude uh, does podcast with Pritchard. Oh, Co- Conrad's putting yeah, it on. He's he's promoting it. That makes me sad. Um, yeah. Okay. 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 But anyways, <laughs> <laughs> Starcast. So it's a wrestling podcast convention. Yeah, they're gonna be doing. Is it, po- yeah, they're, doing, it, they're doing podcasts there. They're doing meet and greets. It's like it's like Pittsburgh Podcamp. They're just but with wrestling. So it's like Pittsburgh Podcamp. Yeah, yeah. In the violent days, they're just not putting a ring in there, so there won't be any actual wrestling happening. Mm, everything but. So it's like a backyard thing. Uh, anyways, uh, but no. So it's been it's been about a year. We've seen a lot of. I don't know if you guys have watched any of these things that they're putting on about the ten pounds of gold uh, series or anything like that. Uh, but uh, you know, the NWA title has been doing a bit more, trying to build that prestige up a bit more. I don't know if they're looking at TV deals or anything. I know like Championship Wrestling from Hollywood and those other spinoffs or things they're building up. Uh, a lot of those people from I was listening to Colt Cabana when they went to China were involved in that. By the way, that those matches are up now. I think through Championship Wrestling from Hollywood or NWA's YouTube. Uh, I, I've been meaning to take a look at that. But uh, you know, is this just another thing on the stack of things that we can see as alternatives, or is this you, you guys seeing some value coming back to the NWA at this fashion? We asking. I, uh, I didn't know if that was rhetorical. I don't. I don't know what kind of value you can put on the end. I don't know what kind of value you can put on the NWA at this point. I didn't um, know it was still a thing because with without some kind of like like unless Cody wins it, mm-hmm. if Cody wins it and he goes back on like, like the Ring, shows he's on like, like Ring, of Ring of Honor and New, New Japan with the NWA title, then yeah, that'll help the NWA quite a bit, but it's only going to help them in so much as they're just doing local shows around areas as opposed to like a national presence. But that might be enough for a lot of these companies. There's a lot of guys, there's a lot of companies making stakes on the indie level. Like I feel like impact wrestling is buying into the indie wrestling thing. Like nobody's trying to be or beat or replace WWE like they did back in the day. Right. Um, They're just trying to, showcase alternatives and that's okay that they're not selling out 10,000 seat arenas right <clears throat> like they're, they're they're doing i'm sure they'd like to though oh everybody would like to <laughs> but you know i mean we're just having a conversation though you guys will see on indie mayhem show about you know put the same talent here and put the same talent over there it's a different market right i, I think the only reason that they're selling out that 10,000 seat arena is because they're only doing it once Oh, absolutely! And if if a, if a normal oh, I, if a normal pro- also, promotion would do this, then I don't think it would. Do right, anything. right. This is something I, big and special, and gives yeah. a. This could be the WrestleMania of Indies. There, brings- there's a few cities they could have sold out in. I think. Okay. Like, like it, there's probably about five or six major U.S. cities they could have sold out in. Yeah. Like Chicago, New York, Philly. L.A., Orlando, and I don't think it would have um, sold out in Orlando. Like, oh no, I oh, think it would. Orlando. You think no, so? Oh yeah, yeah would have. Between the impact and the NXT crowd, absolutely, mm-hmm. absolutely. It's a WrestleMania town. Um, yeah, on and, top uh, of it, Boston, so Boston would Boston would have sold out too. This would not have sold out ten thousand seats in in Pittsburgh. No, they can't sell out anything in Pittsburgh. Not even WWE, right? No, these days. <laughs> No, I think the SmackDown was it's, maybe this last SmackDown was probably the crowd most crowded. I've I seen don't think SmackDown ever sells out. But still, they use the upper bowl a bit. Yeah, which is more than they even did for Raw last year. Because mm. mm. Raw, Raw last year was hardly anything, even the lower bowl. Also, remember Raw and SmackDown do a lot smaller arenas from time to time than we see here in Pittsburgh. Yeah. 
I guess. Like the one I was. But they're watching... they're not they're showing everything from hard cam side though. They're not showing anything behind it. True, true. But but it, I'm just saying generally they're smaller arenas, so like them filling takes less, right? Um, and and Pittsburgh sized cities. You yeah. Know? So I mean I think the only arena we only reason we have big arenas here is because we have teams like the Penguins and the Steelers and, and yeah. it, like that's the driving force, not the size of the city, right? Yeah. Um, you know, like I know I'm going to Portland and what all they have is the Trailblazers. Is that is that correct? As far as uh, national teams? So I don't know. Probably. I, I only saw about probably play. Should share the rest of their teams with Washington. That yeah, could be. That could be. But um you know, sports ball. But yeah, and Tina's saying we'll have to see the driving force uh, behind the NWA is Billy Corgan. And and they're doing, they, you know, they, they're employing Dave Lagana and doing um, low key, low cost media, right? They're not throwing a giant budget out of TV budget and doing this kind of stuff. They're, he's basically out there doing it documentary style, right? Um, so they're, which is, you know, telling good stories to try to get people's attention versus, boom, let's throw a bunch of money, get a slot on pop TV and do a thing, right? Mm-hmm. Um, which, you know, everybody's just following an old model at that point. They're trying to do a different model. They're applying the tools of social media to it versus the old style, uh, which is what a lot of indies do that are gaining fan bases, you know? I don't know much about, was it Destiny Wrestling? out in portland but i bet they have a great rabid fan base that makes lets them thrive and a lot of people that know destiny wrestling have no idea what iwc they didn't even know what the fuck iwc was in philly when we went to national pro wrestling day i'm not doing it so you told me not to do it damn it mike i handed it it to you i handed it to no i said national i said national wrestling league and that does not apply earlier but you completely do it okay whatever anyways national pro wrestling day yes thank you um, just go ahead and post. Just go ahead and post, sorry. Yeah, we'll fix it in post. Yeah. We'll fix it in post. Um, uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, uh, it says it depends on the city. Ra has done key arena uh, there, uh, which is uh, up there around Seattle. That's around fifteen thousand, and the Comcast Arena, forty-five minutes north, that seats around nine to ten thousand, roughly. And we talked about even you know SmackDown and Raw being in in West Banco and Wheeling, West Virginia. That you know didn't pull 500 for a Ring of Honor AJ Styles versus Matt Seidel. So you know it, it, it's different. It's a it's a different math. And just because you don't see all the bus all all the seats full does not mean necessarily wrestling is dying. Um, because a billion dollars from Fox says differently. But anyways, on that note, if you want to support some indie wrestling and keep it thriving, you can check out our friends over at IndieWrestling.us. We got a lot of interviews with a bunch of those friends over there and a lot of new releases, including this past week's, um, or this past week's, last weekend's, hello, I don't know what day of week it is, uh, RWA, Renegade Wrestling Alliance, some great stuff going on there. Guys, watch the video on YouTube and the, uh, the, the YouTube and the Facebook for Renegade Wrestling Alliance. Um, Check check out the Rev Ron Hunt and Chris Taylor. It's one of the most vicious things I've seen in a while uh, that they're doing over there in RWA. And of course, just released Waterweight Wrestling Three. We had all those interviews uh, with Katie, having a lot of fun with our uh, welterweights uh, from up there in Cleveland. And you can check out the show right now on digital download for Welterweight Wrestling Three Premier Wrestling Rise Wrestling. That's Rise with a Y have to clarify these days and of course iwc shows like night of the superstars 7 that included Rey mysterio rikishi and more a lot of good stuff good quality wrestling on there and of course some throwback stuff including a best of logan shulo who may look a lot like a guy named elias these days and raymond Monroe on there as well as the last couple days of our big bundle for night of the superstars and night of the legends releases from the international wrestling cartel for a mere, oh, this list is so long, $40, you get yourself a nice batch, 7, 8, 9, 10, like t- over 10 titles in that package of uh, some great stuff, including the Hardys, including the latest show, um, a lot of good stuff there. So thank you so much, everybody that has been and will continue to support Indie Wrestling at IndieWrestling.us. Guys, and you in the chat room, please participate with this. I see you in there, Brohemoth. I see you in there, Matt. I want to know what you guys learned, especially this week in wrestling. 
Who wants to go first? I, I learned that I'd rather watch three separate hours of New Japan than one three we hour show. We get it. You overall. love New Japan. Well, no, it's not even that. It's 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 the way that I I I'd ra- rather just watch short bursts of something happening than dragging on three hours consistently. Mm-hmm. Just because the way the way that it's broken up into one hour segments is, I think it's fun because they're. You get one or two good, like really good matches, and like progressions with the storyline, and that's it. Instead of just dragging on a three-hour show. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little too much. Yeah, it's it's tedious. And... What about you, Mad Mike? I learned that um, the Force is strong with the Miz. Jeez. Um, on SmackDown. Miz was force blocking pancakes. Yeah, at, he was at Jedi Master levels, and that's probably the best thing I've seen WWE in at least the last three weeks. <laughs> Not counting NXT, of course. I really enjoyed him in the uh, New Day last week. It's fresh on my mind because I just watched it today. But um, yeah, what? Um. But by, by the way, do you feel bad for the people that have to clean up after all the pancakes? No. At this point. Speaking from experience, they're getting paid a lot to do. Not yeah, much. that's so. Okay, I don't all feel right. Bad for them. So where can I clean up some damn pancakes? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody wants to get unfuture endeavored from the WWE. Apparently, uh, <laughs> I'm sure there's something you can sign up for there locally. Larry will hook you up afterwards. Uh, but anyways. You can come Jeez. to Pittsburgh. I'm working Dave Matthews on Friday. Hey. She wakes up in the morning. It's a preview. It's, it's, it's going to hear all it's night a, long. It's a preview. Do you of that stick show. around for the show on that? No, I'm just going at the end. I'm going there oh. at like 10 30 at night. So you clean up Dave Matthews' pancakes. Yeah. Hmm. Yep. <laughs> Flapjacks. Anyways, well, Wheels learned that the Revron Hunt is a vicious with a belt. Yeah, there's some. Yeah, there's some evidence in that. No, wait, what do you think? What does who think? You, I don't know what you're laughing at. Hey, no, yeah, there's some... There's no, some... it was just a funny image. You think he's like whipping wheels with it? Huh? What? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's late. We got to wrap Rep- the show. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, I learned... Um, I learned uh, for as much as I'm liking Impact Wrestling, the uh, Rosemary, the, the funeral of Rosemary with all the Sue Youngs was kind of creepy. And I'm a fan of Sue Young. I didn't get that one. There were some uh, comments earlier that was very Lucha Underground, but it just was like a bunch of creepy images for a few minutes, and that was it. Was she in the street fight here in Pittsburgh? Sue Young? Oh, with that women's show that we went to? Yeah, that was her. Oh, yeah, she's good. She's, she's awesome. Yeah. Um, I haven't seen enough of her in Impact Wrestling to see what they're doing with her, but I guess she's taking on Allie or Dark it kinda Allie. Looks like, it kind of looks like she's Asuka combined with The Undertaker. <laughs> Which is basically what she is. Yeah, right? I mean, that, 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 cause I saw a segment, um, like, I, I've, been watch, I've been seeing drips and drabs of segments on YouTube. I refuse to watch a whole show. But, um, like, they had, um, she had, like, geisha druids. Mm-hmm. With a casket. I'm like, yep. oh, that's weird. It's Asuka Taker. Okay. Yeah. But it kind of <laughs> works. I mean, I mean, her character is basically one of those Japanese monsters from like a movie that Sam Raimi came over to, brought over to the United States. It's The Grudge. Yeah, like that one. The Grudge or Ringu or... Yeah. It's okay. pretty great. But it's weird when it's at an indie show where half the crowd doesn't get it. That's that's the only part that sucks. With well, that. sorry, that's because those people are there waiting in line for the uh, Harry Potter ride. They have their fast pass. They're waiting for they're, Harry Potter. No, they're not there anymore. They're in Canada now. Oh, so they're so no, they're I'm, just. W- I'm talking about indie shows that I've seen her at. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Like here in Pittsburgh, where they haven't seen her before. There's no reputation for her here in the area. You saw this. Like yeah. no, nobody got what the fuck they were looking at when she came in. Meanwhile, I'm like, fuck yes, it's Sue Young. <laughs> yeah. And then they disappeared for like ten minutes. Then there was a the part where they yeah, they they, <laughs> they went out to the parking lot and Pondo's like saying everybody should go out to the parking lot and we're and, like, Yeah, man, I sat I paid for a seat. <laughs> 
not to go hang out in an alleyway in McKeesport. That's not fucking safe. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's more unsafe than the dumpster that she threw that lady in. Oh, or was so she the hard. one that went in the dumpster? I don't know. I don't remember. I Hashtag don't know. dark alley. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, different kind of dark alley, but still works. Oh, I'd love to see that. Tina's saying there's a rivalry with Sue Sue Young and Lufisto and Shine Wrestling. That was pretty cool a few years back. Um, I forget who it was just recently like brought up the Lufisto. Actually, I think it was Argos when he was yelling at me on Wednesday. Uh Lufisto and Katie Arquette in the cage from last year is like like the greatest thing I've ever seen. Um so go check that out. Cage Fury last year at IWC. Guys, thank you so much. I think we we got a lot of steam out tonight. A lot of things going on in wrestling in our lives. And we got to just just get mad at Enzo Amore and, and, and get it all out. Right, Mike? Some might say we were a steam machine this week, Sorg. Oh, no, we weren't that bad. We weren't that bad. <laughs> I said some might say. Some might say. Some might say. Mad Mike 483 on the Twitters. Yes, I occasionally talk about wrestling and things, and I'll probably be seeing Solo at some point this week. So <gasps> depending on how empty the theater is, I may live tweet it. I don't know. <laughs> I never thought about doing that when I go to like those weird night shows. Oh, of, of sorry. Things. I did that when I saw Get Out. The problem is I'll go see a movie, and it's just Miss, Missy and I. But then strangely, there's somebody be, like somebody came in, and we never saw it. And we're like, how the fuck did you get in here? The but that's theater is empty. The lights Sit were on. There's nobody in here. They were there Where the whole you... time. No. Sorg, I... that's why you sit in the back row. Oh, I might have to just to protect myself. Mike, have you seen yes. Deadpool yet? Of yeah, of, of course, course I've seen has. Deadpool. Come that would have been a good one to live tweet. By the way, we're talking about Deadpool our neighbors. Is gr- Deadpool is great, by the way. I'm pretty sure that this guy out here is drunk bicycling up the hill. <laughs> All, All right, we need to wrap this tracks. up because I got to see so this. Let's go see him. We may need to help him. Uh, Larry. Bring the Facebook with us. Where can people bring the Facebook? <laughs> That's a new video. Where can people find out what Girthquake Industries has become? Oh, okay. So uh, you can find me at darkforgestudios.co. Uh, it's for specialized scenic design and prop fabrication. If anyone has any sets or anything like that, storefronts, whatever. Uh yeah, that's where you can find or me. Or wrestling sets. Re- uh, I don't know about. Th- I, I'm a little iffy on doing props for wrestlers because I believe in authenticity, and they should be hitting themselves with real chairs. <laughs> but if you got a good pitch and um, a lot of money, I'm I'll sure he'll I'll do it. I'll hear you out. <laughs> Prediction yeah. for 2019: Larry will design the next Piper's Pit. <gasps> yeah, starring hey. Ronda Rousey or, or the starring next barbershop window. Oh. Meantime, if you're a pro wrestler and want to reenact the scene from the barbershop window, there is literally a barbershop window beside the studio. And before it becomes anything else, because I think it will be soon, two of you guys got to get out here. And we, the one that's uh, good at faking a super kick, uh, I mean, like for a still photo. Um, no, and, and, do it. And, 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 and do we it. need do to it, get it. a picture out here before this becomes not a, it, like, it's got the pool and everything. It's, it's like all you, we're missing is Ed Leslie. Are they tearing you need to it get out? the weekly features there, Sorg. Yeah, there you go. Oh, we do. We do. Uh, <laughs> but I'm just saying, if there's any wrestlers out there who want a really cool promo pick, that's an homage. Are they demolishing that building? Don't tell Dolph Ziggler. Uh, all I know is I, I there's a barbershop. They moved down the street. I don't know what this building's going to be. I want that barbershop pool. If... You want the barbershop pool? Yeah. We might be able to ask a person for it. Okay, I got So we'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll, we, okay. got, we got people. Your, your people will talk to other people. Um, they might be slice people. Just tell them Girthquake requires it. <laughs> just, don't just put a sticky note on it. Girthquake requires this. It's going to really drop, tie that basement together. Please drop off at, uh, at uh, uh, Suite 300 next door. Uh, <laughs> 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 Thank you, guys. It's been so much fun uh, hanging Missy. with the Mayhem family. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks producer to Missy. Producer Missy. I'm working on my way. To producer uh-huh. Missy. We'll see you guys next time. Mayhem out. Wait. Just wait. Just wait. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.